Hi boys and girls. We're going to work on an art project today, at least prepare for it. We're going to study the artist whose name is Paul Clay. Uh, let me show you here. That's how you spell his name and it looks like Clee, doesn't it? But it's pronounced like clay. And we're going to look at his picture. It's a painting that I have a printout of and it's called Castle and Sun. Here it is, Castle and Sun. This is an abstract painting of a castle in a cityscape. A cityscape is lots of buildings like you'd find in a city. Now you have to use your imagination, but I'm sure you can pick out where you think the castle is. It's abstract art. In abstract art, the artist does not draw or paint realistically, but uses shapes and colors to express his or her idea. What shapes do you see in this painting? Look carefully. Well, I think we all right away see the big circle. That's the sun. And then if you look around here where the castle is, we can see triangles of different sizes. We can see squares of different sizes. There are rectangles. Some are taller, some are shorter, some are wider, some are thinner. Right down here is something called an arch, and an arch has a semicircle. It's like a, like a gateway that you can go through into the castle and the city. What we're going to do is make our shapes to get ready to do this artwork. So what you'll need to do is have some uh, scrap paper or cardboard, anything that you can make shapes to trace. You will need some rectangles of different sizes. You see, I have some bigger, some skinnier, some smaller. You'll need some triangles. Once again, different sizes. You don't only have to make two because I did. You can make one or you can make more. You'll need circles. You'll really need two. One will be for the sun and one you're going to need to make another shape I'll tell you about. So you do need cut out two. And then you'll need something called a semicircle, which goes with the circle. How I did it, I found a piece of scrap paper and I put a cup down and I traced around the cup and cut it out. Then what I did was I took one of the two of them that I had and I folded it in half and cut it right down the middle to get my semicircle. And then there are squares which are kind of in line with the rectangles because a square is a rectangle except its sides are all equal. And then you need an arch. An arch is really very simple to make. What you do is you take a square or a rectangle and then you draw an upside down U. Upside down U and then cut the U out, and there you have your arch. So we're going to use our shapes, boys and girls, to create our abstract castle and sun. So in the second part, oh, I found another little, oh, this is a little guy, a little square. For part two, I'd like you to have some tracer shapes made different size rectangles. You don't need tons of them, maybe four or five, and maybe two different size triangles. And remember, you need two circles and a semicircle, or actually if you do two circles, you can cut that in half on one of them 
to make your semicircle. You need squares, and of course we need some different size squares. Here's a larger one, and here's a cute little mini square. Hello, mini square. And you need an arch. So have those things ready for part two. You'll need to have a pencil and a plain, one of those plain pieces of printer paper that we've been working with. And you need some regular water-based markers. No permanent markers or Sharpie for this. You need markers that will smear. That actually, it's a good thing for this one. And you need, of course, different colors. So I'll see you for part two, boys and girls.